Business owners who are ready to take the next big step and raise serious cash for their startups are facing a struggle. The SEC has been slow to finish up laws allowing companies to get investors by the masses. Kai Sisson reports from Capitol Hill. I'm Dan Weber, president of AMAC. When Dan Weber founded the Association of Mature American Citizens, he had no idea that in just seven years, his company would grow to a quarter million members. But as Weber looks to expand and apply for an initial public offering, he is unable to because of regulations from the Securities and Exchange Commission. Because of restrictions in the SEC under uh, Section D and 506, there are too many restrictions so we can't get the capital that we need. Rule 506 of the SEC's Section D prohibits companies from raising capital from anyone other than accredited investors, basically outlawing crowdfunding through the general public. Companies then need to raise an enormous amount of cash through other elite investment sources, which economists say is unfair to small businesses. Right now, we have a situation where you literally have to spend, according to the SEC's own numbers, $2.5 million to access the public capital market, and then $1.5 million in lawyers and accountants each year. That's an insurmountable barrier for most small businesses. Weber is committed to going public, and his top priority is seeing his customers own the company. And one of the things we don't want to do is to get a big, fat investor to take over our organization. We want our members to own the organization, and the regulations prohibit us from having our members buy stock. Daniel Gallagher is the commissioner of the SEC and has been outspoken on the need to change these regulations so companies can grow more efficiently. But sadly, we at the SEC are not doing nearly enough to ensure that small businesses have the access to capital that they need to grow. As an SEC commissioner, I believe that this issue warrants the agency's highest level of priority. The JOBS Act, signed by President Obama in 2012, did alleviate some of the restrictions on small businesses. But what the SEC is out to fix is how to protect the public from shady investments while lessening the hurdles for entrepreneurs to raise capital. Outside the Securities and Exchange Commission, for First Business News, I'm Kai Sisson. Several states, including Wisconsin, Michigan, Washington, Colorado, and Texas, have passed laws making it possible for startups to raise money through online crowdfunding. 